So we're going to go ahead and do more systems of equation questions. And when we're looking at these, you can see there's no nothing in common between the coefficients of x, 7 and 2. Same thing with the coefficients of y, 5 and 4. So we have two choices. If we want to uh, get rid or eliminate x, what we have to do is we have to multiply both equations. I want to multiply the equation 1 by 2, and I want to multiply the second equation through here by 7. And the reason I want to do that is because when I multiply 2, and again, all three parts, when you multiply that, I will get 14x minus 10y is equal to negative 50. And then when I distribute that 7 to every part of the third, second equation, I am left with negative 14x plus 28y is equal to 14. And the whole idea is that you are leaving the coefficients of in this case, x, as one is a positive of that value and the other one is a negative of that value. And the reason we want to do that is because when I go through and add those equations together, that becomes zero. Now, for the y's, it's 28 positive and a negative 10y, so that leaves us with 18y is equal to a negative uh, 36. I divide both sides by 18 and I'm left with y is equal to a negative 2. Now, you can plug that back in to solve it for x, but I want to try to showcase elimination today. So let's say I want to do this again, but this time I want to eliminate, let's say this time I want to eliminate y. If I want to eliminate y, I'm going to multiply this first equation through by 4, and I'm going to multiply the second equation through by 5. And I'm keeping the signs the same because currently the 5s, one has a positive and one has a negative, and I'm just multiplying the other equation through by what I need so that they will all match up at the end. So when I multiply the top one, I distribute the four to all three parts. I have 28x minus 20y is equal to negative 100. And then in the bottom, when I multiply the five to all three parts, I will have negative 10x plus 20y is equal to 10. And again, I'm, by design, those y's, when I add it together, become 0. And now I'm left with 18x is equal to negative 90. And when I divide both sides by 18, I'm left with x is equal to a negative 5. So my ordered pair solution for that, always x then y, is going to be negative 5 comma negative 2. Now the beautiful thing with these is I can go through and check them. Again, let's write that equation down that I had in the very beginning one more time. It was positive 7x minus 5y is equal to a negative 25. And if I want to take that 5 plug it in for x, and then negative 2, and plug it in for y. So I will see 7 times negative 5 minus 5 times negative 2. It should, when I do this, negative 35 plus 10, yep, it equals 20, negative 25. So I know I have done that equation correctly. 